Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. Well, the Yugo is starting out at the same place as our next road test case. You see, first, there weren't any. Then, there was one. And before we knew it, they were multiplying like lemmings. What are we talking about? Why, minivans, of course. And this week, we have the second U.S.-built minivan to hit the market. This is the M-Van by General Motors, otherwise known as the Chevrolet Astro and GMC Safari. Built in Baltimore, the Chevrolet Astro and GMC Safari M-Vans are rear drive. They represent GM's unique answer to the minivan marketplace. Indeed, the M-Vans might well stand for MIDI, since the Astro Safari enter life larger than most of their competitors. That's only one and a half inches shorter and two and a half inches narrower than GM's smallest full-size van. But the unusual truncated styling of the Astro Safari does cut a 7-inch lower profile, so it can also lay claim to being garageable. Modern touches like flush side glass and integrated door handles also give low for a van wind resistance. Like most vans, the Astro Safari has a wide right side door. There's also this low step for easy entrance. Seating arrangements are from 4 to 8 for the passenger model. However, unlike most other downsized vans that use a rear hatch, the M-Van uses twin outward swinging doors. That kind of utility is enhanced by putting another step on top of the rear bumper. And the passenger model's optional back bench folds as a package shelf. The basic powertrain in the cargo version will be this 2.5 liter 4 and a 4-speed manual, while both a 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic are options. The stripped cargo van begins at $7,821 and the low-line passenger version at $8,195. But since you can get all the bigger van's creature comforts, the typical take-home price might be much higher. In fact, the Chevrolet Astro we drew for our closer look was a modestly appointed cargo version with optional seating for four, and it's still priced out at $12,819. But that did buy the most powerful optional engine you can get on a small van, Chevy's new 4.3-liter V6, here attached to a four-speed overdrive automatic. Now, while dipsticks and belts were easy to reach, like older vans, most work will have to be performed inside the cab with this engine cover removed. But this is a smooth and sturdy powertrain combination, and it gives the M-Van a maximum towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. It also gives the Astro Safari a maximum cargo carrying ability of 1,700 pounds. And since it's rear drive, the Astro Safari can handle heavy loads better than a front drive van. All of the cargo weight is over the drive wheels. As for loading, since there's no lip where the floor meets the doors, it's a low lift for anything, though the Astro Safari can't carry a 4x8 sheet of plywood unless the doors are left open. Interior seating dimensions are almost the same as GM's full-size van. These center bucket seats are bolted in, but the passenger van's optional middle and rear bench seats have latches. Those seats can be easily taken out or arranged to face each other or face the rear. While driver comfort in the Astro Safari is good, we didn't much care for the high-tech look to the analog gauges. They're hard to read, but the fingertip switches on the instrument pod are convenient. Next logical question, does the M-Van drive like a van or an oversized car? Well, we have to answer, it drives like a van, but a very nice van. It has good rear wheel tracking and tight corners and amazingly little body roll. Yet the ride was anything but harsh, thanks to Corvette-like plastic leaf springs on the rear suspension. Brakes have some of the easy-to-lock-the-rear-wheel tendencies of most trucks, but there was no violent swing as we might have expected. Distances unloaded were 123 feet. That's pretty impressive. As for the V6's acceleration, passing times of 4.6 seconds were a lot better than most cars. Likewise, a 0 to 60 time of 11.8 seconds. About the only V6 drawback is mileage. Despite an EPA rating of 18 city and 24 highway, the best we managed on our 100-mile loop was 15. 
but we still conclude that GM's M-Van makes a fine alternative to a full-size van. It's roomy, placid to drive with many clever features. And whether it's the Chevrolet Astro or GMC Safari, it's apparently designed to both work and play smart. And we'll see you next week on Motor Week.